Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 1.1 characteristics of living organisms. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 1.1 you need to be able to describe the characteristics of all living organisms and there's no extended supplement for this one. All living organisms, whether single-celled or multicellular, plants or animals, possess a certain set of characteristics which can easily be remembered using the acronym Mrs. Gren. They are movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion and nutrition. Now each of these will be covered in more detail in later chapters, so be sure to subscribe, but for topic 1.1 only a very basic level of understanding is required. So, movement is an action by an organism or part of an organism causing a change of position or place. Most animals are capable of changing location entirely, while plants move in response to external stimuli like sunlight and temperature. Respiration describes the chemical reactions in cells that break down nutrient molecules and release energy for metabolism. Put simply, all living organisms require energy, so without respiration, the means of producing it, they wouldn't be alive. Sensitivity is defined as the ability to detect and respond to changes in the internal or external environment. For example, a Venus flytrap detects the presence of an insect and responds by snapping shut. It then secretes digestive enzymes which dissolve its prey so that the nutrients can be absorbed. Growth is a permanent increase in size and dry mass. In living organisms, this is achieved through cell division or mitosis and an increase in the size of the cells themselves. The next characteristic is reproduction, which can be defined as the processes that make more of the same kind of organism. Without the ability to reproduce and pass on genetic material, all living species would cease to exist within a single generation. Excretion is the removal of waste products of metabolism like carbon dioxide and substances in excess of requirements like food waste and urea. Finally, nutrition is the taking in of materials for energy growth and development. Plants take on water, minerals and gases to produce glucose through photosynthesis, while animals eat and digest food, from which nutrients can be extracted and utilised. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 1.1, characteristics of living organisms. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 1.2, classification systems.